this episode of Sailing with the Murph, we sail 50 miles from Marathon to Key West. We started at the Seven Mile Bridge, sailed to Bahia Honda, and then on to Sand Key Lighthouse in Key West. Florida Keys boat trip. Yep, starting in Marathon, then we're going to sail down to Bahia Honda, and then after that, go to Key West. And probably two, maybe three days to get down there. Probably be about 50 miles, I want to say. We have about 10 days to play with, so we'll see how it goes. We don't really know exactly what we're going to do, but we know we're going to start Marathon. There it goes. So we couldn't launch the boat at the actual marina, which is uh, over there. We had to come to the city marina, launch it there. I'm gonna drive the truck back over. Scott's gonna take the boat over. And he's off. Oh, he got here quick. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Thanks very much. Faro Blanco Marina was the marina we started at. This was where Murphy wanted to go because he liked the lighthouse. So we started here and headed on southwest toward Key West and the Bahia Honda area. Probably after dinner we will put the mast up. We're gonna do lots of fishing on this trip. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, just about lost the sunglasses. Oh no, don't lick me. Ew! Ew. Yeah. <laughs> then it was time to get a bite to eat at the Lighthouse Grill, a fantastic restaurant right there in the Faro Blanco Marina. We're headed to 33rd Street, which is the that, 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 that. city boat ramp. We're going to drop this little dinghy right in and then check out. And then where to? Uh, we're going to go to sail along the seven mile bridge and then um, end up in Bahia Honda where that bridge is disconnected. We'll get Murph up there and have him throw some rocks out there or something. That's what I did when I was a kid so we'll try it and see if we can get up there. And me, I think I'll uh, be videotaping the whole experience and I don't know, maybe we'll uh, see some good snorkeling spots along the way. Obviously, I'm at the helm. <laughs> I did pass my sailing classes, so... Captain Kimberly! As I recall, I got a 94, Scott got a 96, so... No competition. It's all about safety and know what you're doing out here. Having fun. Say hi, Merv. Hi. What do you think, man? You like that? Oh, yeah. Pulling you with the sailboat. Sometimes that happens. 
Don't need that motor. Nah, but we had to get around some uh, <laughs> impending shoals. Yeah, apparently. Well, we were we we knew they were there, and so we were gonna cut around at the last second for the because of the wind. And some guy on a catamaran goes by, and he's like, "No, go that way." And we're like, "Yeah, I know, I see it." So, um, how far have we sailed from the marina? Probably, probably a couple miles. <laughs> a couple miles, and we yeah. left at 2.50, and it's 4.10. But you know what? Yeah. We do not have a schedule. Yeah. Well, we, we've gone pretty <laughs> far. I mean, you can barely even see the marina anymore. Yeah. And you can see yeah. the, the tall part of the bridge where we're going to go go under here. So, this is the seven-mile bridge. Where are we going, Murph? <laughs> he likes to call it Hia Honda, but Hia Honda. <laughs> Me and my buddy hanging out on the bow while mommy, mommy's sailing right now. Are you having fun, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. Did you get your feet wet yet? No. I know he's trying to get his feet wet, but we got him all safe. He's got legs between the bar there, and I'm with him. We're sailing the Seven Mile Bridge right now. It's beautiful out here. This was one of those unique experiences where the current was against us, but the wind was in our favor, so it allowed us to sail right in between the bridge without any motor power at all. Our anchor wasn't holding, so we ended up having to go on the other side of the bridge and anchor out in a sandbar over there so we could go and explore. All right, good morning. Good morning. Captain Kimberly. <laughs> we just left our anchorage uh, about five miles south of Kia Honda and we are headed to Key West. We were hoping to make it there today about 22 miles. We should. Um, so in the meantime, we are going to put these lures on one of them. Which one do you want, Mert? Um, you want the Hu Lee? Yeah. Okay. Alright, we're going to put this on and see if we catch anything. We're not deep sea, so. Looks like we're dragging it, but we'll see. We'll see if we get anything. I had to put on my sea bands. Oh no. I don't know. I, I, I had to put on my sea bands too. You have sea bands on too? Oh yeah. It's like sideways sailing here. So. It's pretty windy. Yeah. I can see that. Look, we got telltales behind you, it looks like. Uh, we saw 
have the sails out, but there's a little bit of a little bit of wind. Maybe like four or five knots of wind. We can motor sail. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Well, we're, we want to get we want to get into Key West, so we have some time to get ready and go out to dinner. We're very close. We've been sailing since about 10:41 this morning, and it's about five o'clock, and we're about two miles away from. The southernmost point. We're gonna find a decent anchorage near Mallory Square and catch the sunset. Did you catch any fish today? No, not yet. Just seaweed. We never thought we'd actually catch the Coast Guard instead. Pull my line. Do they need us to do something? I don't know. Apparently, the Coast Guard came right up to us and he snagged our fishing line and then they just left. They felt bad about taking our line, so they headed back over and they boarded our boat. They needed to check the safety regulations and good thing we had everything in check, just like we should. Uh, we never have been, but we did a safety check uh, before uh, about two months ago. Say hi, Murphy. some dinner.
live out here? Yeah, we're all on the back side. Okay, right on. I'm two boats behind you. He's, uh, he's on this one, right here, behind you. Look at 